Hey guys. Today, we're bringing back one of those classic Gabe Helmy videos. The type of video where if you don't know, I find stuff online where people have made a mistake, they've messed up, and I make fun of them for it. I love these kind of videos because I myself am perfect, and I've never made a mistake. This is healthy though, raw eggs are healthy, right? Well, it wouldn't be healthy if I got salmonella. Okay, I might have pronounced the word wrong once. I don't know why I said salmonella like that. Salmonella. I clearly said it funny, but did we need to comment about it like 500 times on that video? Like, screw the nine minutes of content that he posted. I'm gonna comment about that one word that he said a little funny. Are you planning on visiting any European country soon? Europe is like a country that has been like dying to- <laughs> Okay, I also once referred to Europe as a country. Europe is like a country that- Europe is my country? Obviously, Europe is a continent, not a country. I know that. But this one, I only said it because of the way the question was worded. It said, which European countries do you want to visit? And I just answered it quickly and said, Europe is a country I want to visit instead of I want to visit a lot of countries in Europe, okay? It's a lot of talking. I made a lot of videos. It's a simple mistake. And it's not like I even thought Europe was actually a country. I literally edited in, in the video, continent over the video, acknowledging that I said it wrong, but people still commented like I'm an idiot just to make themselves feel smarter. Anyway, there's probably a lot more of me messing up, but let's switch it on other people. I want to stop being the target. First thing we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about tattoos. Tattoos are great. They have a lot of meaning. They're on you forever, they look cool. Except when you try to get a face tattoo because those usually turn out terrible. Like this, for example, you wanna get a tattoo of this man to honor him and then you get it and it turns out like this. Ugh, what is that? Look at his face, it just, it just doesn't work. I think it's the eyes, they just look so dopey. Or this one, this one, it's such a cute baby. But why does the tattoo turn out so horrifying? I really wish that I could see the person's reaction when they first see a tattoo like this because I'd be pissed if someone tattooed a goblin on me instead of my baby. Next one, I don't I don't know how that this is a thing. It's still a thing. You if you live in LA, you can rent this. It's a Titanic themed inflatable slide for a kid's party. Who would have ever thought that a ship that killed hundreds of people would one day make such a good addition to a kid's birthday party. I have an idea though. Maybe we can make a 9-11 themed slide next. That'd be pretty cool. I like how the website's slogan is, since 1996, we deliver fun. Yeah, nothing says fun like the Titanic sinking. Next one, I'm just gonna show you a picture and take a second and tell me if you see anything wrong here. Why is there punctuation marks on her forehead? This is definitely what I want my future wife to look like. Uh, commas turn me on. Since having nice eyebrows is so important, I think people try a little too hard and then this happens. How did she think that looked good? If you look close enough, you could see where her real eyebrows are and where she like sharpied the rest in. I wonder how I would look with those eyebrows. Would you guys still watch me if you had to look at this every video? Next one, this one is beautiful. It really shows how far we've come in terms of technology. Like the idea of robots is something the world has always thought about. And some people actually think robots will get so smart that they're gonna get smarter than humans and then they're gonna take over the world. But it's gonna be a while because right now, our robots mostly look like this. So this robot is supposed to be able to pour a drink for you automatically. Amazing! I will destroy humans. This picture is a sex education poster. It's got a lot of information on it like, one in four teen girls has an STD. There's four girls on the poster. Can you guess which one has the STD? Why did they do that? It's so creepy. She's just looking at like, <laughs> that's right, I have crabs. Next one, this is the reason grammar is important. It can change the meaning of a sentence entirely. For example, from this hospital, this is a list of patients and the reasons why they're going to the hospital. Let's see, so we have the first person they're in because they have a persistent cough. Second one, EMS post-op left shoulder. Okay, next one, unable to eat diarrhea. You know what this picture needs? It needs an eyebrow. 
An eyebrow comma changes the entire thing. Another one, same thing, the grammar. So right here we have Belinda. She's feeling sad. And why is she feeling sad? Because I just want to see my little brothers fuck. Uh... Okay, now it's good. See, now it's nice. She's just missing her little brothers before she wanted to watch live incest. Next, we've talked about Photoshop fails in the past where someone maybe try to make themselves skinnier and you can kind of see the warp in the picture. But this one is a whole new level. This girl right here wasn't satisfied with her booty, so she drew it on like no one was gonna notice. Look how uneven it is. Her booty's all like bumpy and stuff. I mean, if you're gonna draw it, at least try to draw it good. I could do a better job than that. Watch, I'm gonna trick everyone into thinking I have a booty. Here we go, whoa, that looks good. I look thick. I don't even know how this one happens. Seedless rapes, nine cents. I've never noticed how important the G in grapes is. Don't understand how this gets put up in a store. I would think it's fake, but you can see the guy taking a picture of this in the reflection of the window, which makes me think it's not fake. Also, how do you forget the G in the grapes? Like, it's not like they ran out of room because the G is the first letter. This one is really hot. It really turns me on. Babe got a fresh cut. Look at it, w look at it, what the hell is that thing? Kill it, please, someone. So that's the back of his head, but is she dating a worm? Imagine waking up to that. You wake up, you roll over, open your eyes, and that thing's there. I need to know what the front of his face looks like. If this is you watching, please slide in the DM. Next one, I don't know if this one is really a fail because they want to do it. So it's not a mistake. The most unique ice cream flavor I've ever seen, breast milk. Where did the milk come from to make all the other ice creams in the shop? Well, it came from cows. Um, and this milk comes from a person. A place in London really sells breast milk ice cream. I don't know if it's still around, and but the creator is very passionate about it too. It's pure, it's natural, it's organic, and it's free range. And if it's good enough for our kids. Free range? And it's free range. He said free range breast milk, okay. So it's good to know that the women can roam freely um, among the pasture before they collect their breast milk. But is that what they mean by free range? I don't get it. I mean, this is weird, but to be honest, I would try it. Next one, this is a real business's name. Their name is Dirty Dick's Crab House. Just why? This is a real place. You can eat food in this place. It's in Florida, which, you know, that makes sense. If it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be in Florida. This is a real place too. Ass Man's Barber Shop. Again, I thought this was fake, so I looked it up on my maps, and it's a real place in Canada. If I'm ever in Canada, I'm gonna go get a haircut from Ass Man's Barber Shop. You know what? This is probably where that one guy got his haircut from. Ass Man's always gets you the freshest cut. Okay, that was fun. That's all the things I'm gonna talk about today. If you enjoyed it, and you like seeing these kind of videos, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Um, I feel like I have more to say, but I guess I don't. So thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I love you guys, and hopefully I'll see you next video, probably Thursday instead of Wednesday this week, because since I'm posting twice, sometimes my schedule gets a little messed up. I'll see you next video.